Welcome back everyone to the channel. This is Game Changer X. We are playing more RDR2. After we have patted the the <laughs> horse, we'll talk to Mr. Here, Mr. Morgan. Pearson. Okay, let's ask him what does he We're do. Okay. We have a few the aftermath of Genesis. That's the what? next mission. 10, 12 people. When I was in the Navy, I, I do not wish to hear about what you got <laughs> to do in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days, and you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Started salted offal? What's on, that? Go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. That's a... That's a stubborn man, and he wants to help. So let's go hunting. This is how the, the game actually teaches us hunting, which I think is a yeah, big deal in the game. Take this. We'll have to hunt a lot. Use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on. Okay, let's go. Way. So just like GTA, every time we have to go somewhere, the characters will start talking. And we'll get a little bit of backstory. Stupid mistake. Feel bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, careful. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. He has common sense. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but you sure weren't good. Yeah, we still don't know fully what happened in that boat. What really happened in Blackwater? What do the Pinkertons want and why are they hunting this Dutch and the gang? So now till now the game is feeling okay. I, I really feel good about the game. Only thing is I don't like the controls as well as I don't like the, the metered way of you know you'll have to maintain your character. I'm very bad at that. But we'll see how it works out. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. No, shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. 
been here and recently how can you tell how can you not we'll track them on foot you're gonna need the bow don't leave it on your horse a gun will scare everything around that's not my horse <laughs> no use this the bow one I gave you. okay yeah, I'm still getting used to the weapon wheel uh, where everything is. Okay. Yeah, we got the ball, right? Come on. Let's go. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I think so. Yeah, I do see the track. Okay, L3 and R3 to activate Eagle Eye. So we'll have to use Eagle Eye. Okay, so this is Eagle Eye. This is different from the the other one and we can start tracking with r1 it's easier in the snow but once you get your eye in you'll be able to track nearly as well it's not easier on the snow because uh, we cannot see the track properly on the snow especially when it's reflecting the light but now i see it properly there are deers here somewhere oh now i see them behind that tree between the trees Okay, I see at least one. Down there. You see him? Hey, okay, let's shoot it down. No. I'll have to try out the shooting mechanics. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Quick and clean. Attention on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Oh shit. I overdid it. Oh man, when you lose your stamina code, that's what happens. I'll have to drink something which gets my stamina code back. Um, this one, yep. Slightly restores step level, so at least we'll get a little bit of it back. We need to upgrade these things uh, as fast as we can. So I I hold that um L two R two for L two for too long. Okay, let's do. All right, we got it. So we are now behind the second deer. It seems there is one more track here. Yeah, from the left to right. So we'll go right and check it out. We have crossed the river and now I see one, two. Are there two of them? Yes, there are two of them. We just need one more. Which one should we hunt? Left or right? So let's do the right one. All right, we got another one. I think that's all we can carry. So you can carry only one deer on a horse. I'll, get the other. I'll pick up you this sure one. Hands okay? Man, that will be quite a lot of meat on these deers. Two of them. But the camp is also pretty big. Let's go. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. There will be a lot of people who will say, I really feel sorry for the deer. Nice work, but the thing is, uh, here to keep us all fed for a few days. exactly, in the nature, uh, there is something called predator and prey. And humankind is the biggest predator. We've seen enough of that. I don't feel sorry for any animal that we humans kill for eating, but I do feel sorry for any animal that gets killed for just for the sport of it. Because hunting, not for eating, is something that I don't support at all. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. <laughs> so Jose is the brain of the of the group. Had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. 
We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. <laughs> maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Of course. She would definitely would she, she would definitely have that. Home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Oh Let's shit, there is a bear. Way around. Cut up here, off the trail. Okay, so the bear just moved left. We are going right. The bear is still there between those trees. The horses are scared and he loves to, you know, um, right, boy. calm them we down. We never talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah, uh, sooner or later a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. 20 years? Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. So there is honor between or among How's the outlaws. All right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Okay, we are back. Easy. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Okay, that was my mistake. I should Come have pulled the, the triangle Pearson. button. I, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. 
Takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in. Oh. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? Oh, hey, that's like Uncle from the previous game. My utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me really. It's his sad Everyone way calls him fiction. Uncle. No, he is. was in RDR oh, 1. Shoot, get lost. Uh, well. See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the Navy only thing. rum. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Okay, that's easy. Just hold the triangle and it's skinned. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, they always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <laughs>